Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the general syntax of the class and examples. The general syntax of the class and examples. So this is the C++ environment. So this is called C++ editor. Then here start with in C++ programming every class start with a keyword in C++ programming every class start with a keyword that is called class class the class name is optional that is tag name tag name this is the general syntax a tag name means that is the class name it is optional then begin so your class begin class block begin then access specifiers what are the access specifiers how many access specifiers available in c++ or visibility modes there are three types the first one is private or public or protected then follows colon operator not semicolon remember so visibility modes are access specifiers end with colon operator then the next one data type data type variable name one semicolon data type variable name two semicolon etc next one return type return type return type function name name of the function and arg list arguments list then semicolon again return type return type function name function name again arguments list then semicolon so on then class block close and semicolon and semicolon here simply in c++ in c++ every statement must end with semicolon in c++ every class should be end with semicolon remember all of you every statement must end with semicolon and class also end with semicolon that means that class declaration is over i love you then come here here class tag name in every class start with a keyword that is called class c l a s s class so then the next one access specifiers are visibility modes private public protected these three are the access specifiers are visibility modes simply here what type of variables we want to define so we want to define private variables we want to define public variables or we want to define protected variables and members functions members and member functions here simply access specifiers are visibility modes this indicates the scope of the variable this indicates the scope of the variable the scope of the variable all of you then the next one here every class so in every c++ Uh, sorry in 
C++ every class start with the keyword that is called class and tag name that is called class name. Okay. Later we have to provide the class name. Okay, now all of you. Then here variables and functions are the members of the class. What are the variables? These are the variables and these are the functions. Variables and functions are the members of the class. There are two types. There are two types. These are called data members. These are called data members. Then these are called member functions of the class. Member functions. Here that's why the C++ class is nothing but a collection of members and member functions. Collection of members and member functions. Here variables. These are the variables. And functions. These are the functions are members of the class. Clear all of you. These two are the members of the class. These are two types. The first one is data members. These two data members and member functions. What is access specifier? In C++, the main concept is called data hiding. In C++, the, uh, the main concept is called data hiding. Hiding. Already we learned in the key concepts of C++. The key concepts of C++. Inheritance, data hiding, encapsulation, data binding, etc. Okay, all polymorphism, virtual functions, etc. These are all the key concepts of the C++ object-oriented programming language. Then, all of you, in C++, the main concept is called the data hiding. Here, data hiding, hiding is achieved with the private declaration. So, the data hiding is achieved with the private declaration. Only private declaration only. All of you. So, in C++, main concept is data hiding. In C++, main concept is data hiding. Whereas, in the C language, data is not protected. Data is not protected. Why? Why? Because because of it is public data. So once we have to define, we can access anywhere in the program or functions. Clear all of you. But whereas in C++, once we have to define the data in private, we can access inside the class member functions only. Okay, all of you. Then, to avoid this problem. What is the problem? In C language, data is not protected because of it is public data. To avoid this problem in C++, here C++ is introduced with data hiding concepts. C++ in the C++ introduced with data hiding concepts. Okay, clear. So, in the class, the main advantage is private declaration. This is private declaration. In the class, the main advantage is the private declaration. When the data members are private, when the data members are private, we can access only the member functions within the class. So, when the data members are private declaration, so, we can access the members inside the class only. Inside the class only. All of you. Inside the class only. Within the class. All of you. In a class, we are going to declare both the data members and member functions together into a single unit is known as class. In C++ programming, in a class, we are going to declare, we are going to declare data members. These are the data members and 
member functions data members and member functions data members and member functions together together into a into a single unit into a single unit into a single unit is called class into a single unit is called class which is called an encapsulation mechanism an encapsulation mechanism all of you in a class we are going to declare both the data members both the data members and member functions together into a single unit is called class which is called an encapsulation mechanism which is called an encapsulation mechanism okay all of you so what is an encapsulation an encapsulation is the process of declaring declaring variables and functions and functions and functions called an encapsulation all of you two concepts covered here the two key key concepts the first one is data hiding second one is encapsulation clear all of you then data hiding once we have to define the members in privately we can access the private members inside the class only we cannot access outside the class so that means we will provide the high security to our data members that's why that is the most important concept data hiding is the most important concept clear then encapsulation means your members and member functions so it is the process of declaring variables and functions these are the variables these are the functions okay into a single unit that is class unit is called an encapsulation clear all of you data hiding and data encapsulation data hiding data hiding data hiding refers to refers to be what data hiding refers to be what here watch it these are the variables variable 1 variable 2 so on so these are the members of data members and these are the member functions function 1 function 2 etc these are the data member functions this data is available this data is available are tied up tied up with only the member functions that are declared tied up with only the member functions those are declared inside the class inside the class when the data is private when the data is private all of you when the data is private that should be accessed within the member functions that should be accessed within the member functions in the same class in the same class that means they are not accessible outside the class okay all of you that means they are not accessible outside the class clear all of you which is called data hiding data hiding one more important point is private so once we have to declare private members we can access inside the class only next one is public we have to define the data members in public we can access inside the class and outside the class then the next one protected protected variables or members once we have to define in protected way we can access the data in another class 
so here the protected variables later we will discuss in inheritance concept in inheritance concept once we have to define the pro variables in protected access specifier using protected access specifier okay we can access those members in the another class that is called derived class then here we should maintain two classes minimum two classes clear all of you then private public and protected this is the general syntax of the class this is the general syntax of the class clear all of you so here we discuss two concepts the first one is known as data hiding and the second one is known as encapsulation mechanism clear all of you then i want to give a small example small example small example so small example hash include what is an adder file in this c++ hash include hash include io stream dot h io stream dot h clear all of you then your class name class class name in c++ class start with a keyword that is called class class as a class keyword then it follows the class name or tag name that is called sample sample then begin then begin then begin then here your private or integer integer in number integer number then next one integer number next one uh, in float float average average etc then these are the integer number and float average these are the members of the class but i didn't define i didn't define access i didn't give access specifier or visibility mode simply here simply private 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 follows colon then integer number float average etc then the next one here public public wide wide get data get data wide get data then begin so simply begin wide get data begin see out insertion operator enter number enter number enter number then see in extraction operator n o semicolon semicolon next one see out see out insertion operator enter enter average marks average marks enter average marks semicolon should put uh, close uh, double quotation semicolon then see in extraction operator a b c then semicolon then the next one wide 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 display wide display then begin see out number equal to quotation close less than less than here n o 
again insertion operator endl semicolon next one see out average marks equal to average marks equal to quotation close avz then semicolon next one your function close then the next one is class close all of you here this is the class close every class should be end with semicolon all of you this is an example then the next one void main this is the compulsory function every c program and c++ program should have one function that is called main function clear all of you every c++ program should have one function that is called main function clear the control program execution start with main function the control execution start with main function then what is the name of the class then how to create a uh, object of the class then how to access the member functions of this class all of you see here then class name what is the name of the class sample sample here obj obj that is called object all of you here sample obj that is called object sample is a class name object creation of object then the next one function calling obj dot obj dot here get data get data obj dot get data semicolon then the next one obj obj dot obj dot display this display display then semicolon then the next one is get ch get ch then the next one close all of you close then here clr sr clr sr we are using clr sr clears the screen the previous data removes or erase okay then here we should define prototype of clear screen and get ch as include include i o uh, std i o dot uh, std i o dot h as include c o n i o conio dot h as include conio dot h then this is the header file of get ch and uh, sorry get ch and clear screen all of you then this is the sample c++ program compile so alt c c r control of n how many errors and how many hash include std hash i n uh, hash include i o stream dot h hash include i o stream i o s t r e a m i o stream i o stream dot h all of you then for errors then the next one here all of you then we should close the function then close then the next one how many errors zero errors and zero warnings clear all of you then warnings are zero then errors are also zero success press any key all of you success press any key clear all of you then this is the class sample then private these two are the private members of this class then these two are the public members of this class public member functions of this class void get data and void display these two are the member functions of this class integer number float average these two are the these two are the members of this class the access specifier or visibility mode is private the access specifier or visibility mode is private clear all of you then so here void get data then void display member functions 
then the next one is class close your main function wide main function clear screens sample obj sample obj what is a sample sample is a class name what is our class name this is called class name here this is the name of the class all of you so your class name obj so simply create an object the object name is called obj your sample obj next i want to call the member functions i want to call the member functions so with the help of obj get data so obj dot get data like structure members how to call structure members how to assign the values into structure members your structure variable dot structure member clear all of you structure variable dot structure member equal to value here also the same here object dot get data then object dot display here object dot get data the control go to the get data member function in the class then read number and average marks clear all of you then the control return back to the main function then the again what is the next statement what is the next statement obj dot display obj dot display the control go to the class then display function then display member number equal to number then average marks equal to average clear then the control return back then gets h and close the program all of you listen one thing listen then in in the c++ program program execution time execution time the control start with main function and also end with main function clear all of you the control start with main function and also control end with main function okay clear then beginning and ending from main function clear then i want to compile no errors and no warnings then control f9 so simply enter number for example 123 okay clear enter average marks 99.99 then this is an output number equal to 123 then average marks equal to 99 point so something clear that is a float variable that's why here display like this clear all of you here average marks equal to something okay all of you then waiting for some time until press any key on the keyboard why then there is a get h function okay clear so simply enter the control return back so come here in the most important point in private variables so i didn't define private for example i removed this one here number and average what is the access specifier of number and average by default is private remember all of you which is the private which is the default access specifier private if you mention or not if you mention private the members are acting as private if you didn't mention private the members also acting as private remember all of you which is the default access specifier private clear private so now uh, i can compile how many errors no errors no warnings clear then control f9 control f9 enter number like 9876 that is the number average marks equal to 89 so then clear all of you this is an output all of you clear then see if you mention or not mentioned by default is private members here integer number float average then number and average these two are the members of this class the access specifier or visibility mode is private clear all of you then here c++ is class and main function remember 
here simply class is what is the definition of class simple definition of class class is nothing but a collection of members collection of members these are the members and these are the member functions collection of members and member functions is called class set of members and member functions is called class remember all of you class is nothing but a collection of members and member functions clear then this is the sample c++ program tomorrow we will discuss more c++ programs okay using class clear all of you then tomorrow we will discuss more examples okay my bye